Hello everyone. Today uh, we're covering an exciting demand. Uh, many of you have asked uh, if Artila can connect to Facebook and uh, post some messages, but on, not only post messages. Today we're going to auto post into our own Facebook groups, but also the Facebook groups that we have joined, which is uh, rarer to find in terms of other softwares that can do it. So let's look into it. And, and before we, we show you this quick uh, demo, I want to show you here a very useful tool that we have on, in Artila is that, as you can see, I have my automation here uh, launched, but I'm not connected with, the, with my Facebook account. And if you look at the automation here, we didn't create any login blocks. The reason is that we use another way, and I'm going to close here, which is called the profiles. So what the profiles do is that it creates a session with Facebook and then it keeps you uh, connected. You don't have to log in again for every automation you launch, which is very useful. It doesn't work with all websites. We're improving it, but it's working right now with Facebook. All you have to do is come to uh, the profile that is related to your project. Click on link account. It works for both version 5.3 that we're using today and also version 6. And then you just go to the website where you want to log in and create the session. So now I'm going to log in. The good thing is that you don't have to share or put your credentials inside the automation block. You can just log in from here. Um, and once you're logged in here, you can just block this, block this. And once you're logged in, you just close this window now. The session is live. And when I go back to my project, this one here, and I click again on inspect, it's going to piggyback and, and catch up that session that we opened in the profile. And now you can see that I'm logged in with my account. So, so I don't need to log in. It's automated now. And I'm going to show you what we are doing. So uh, what I've done is that I took all the 30 groups um, that I have uh, identified and I added them in the list variable here. So our group, our Artila group, but also all the other groups where I, I have been accepted. So this creates a loop. This first list here creates the loop. And in my main loop, then I click on every item of the, of the list one by one, one after another. And then when we go uh, inside each one of them, I'm going to show you. We're going to click uh, just for the sake of the example. Let's go to, the, um, to, our, to our group. Oh, I posted this by mistake, <laughs> so I'll delete it. This is a too early announcement. So you can see now I'm on the group. And if I run the automation blocks one by one, I'm already in the URL in the first one. Then I click on this element. And like you saw in the other uh, video about the uh, CSS selectors, I find the right selector that give me only one result, which will click on this write something here. Um, and let's run it. It opens up this window. Yeah. And after this, uh, always put some waiting time, like two, three seconds. Uh, and then I'm going to populate my message. So I have this simple message that is multi-line. And here you have the multi-line checkbox. So you can, you can uh, populate a multi-line textbook. So a very simple text that you can change. And what I've done here is that I'm not putting any URLs so that it can get into every uh, group, every Facebook group. Some they, they block when you put in a URL. So for the sake of the example, I just put text uh, and let's populate it. So if I run the command here, it's going to populate that text. And, and I chosen to, to mimic human typing. You could do it faster if you uncheck this box. So now it's, it's going to do that. Oh, I stopped it by mistake. Okay, uh, I clicked too early and it stopped the, the writing. So I'm going to redo it here, the populate text field. And I'm going to be patient and wait that it finishes typing in the text. Okay, so it's mimicking the human uh, typing, which is slow, but good. All right. You can watch the video on YouTube on our YouTube channel and also uh, a quick message to the admins 
just that this is for demo uh, purposes. And the text is now done. So the next step is to click on this um, photo image upload, which is this block. Click on add image. So I'm going to run this block. It opens up this here. And then we have the block called upload file. And I already put here uh, the URL to find my file on my computer, on my C drive. So it's going to pull this image from my drive and put it in there in Facebook, in that Facebook message. So I just, read the run, I just hit the run command for you to see. And here you have to give it a few seconds as well, the time that it opens. And I, you can see that now we have the message, we have the image. And the only thing we have to do is click on this little button. And I'm going to add uh, that button right now. So let's add a click command, a click on element. I'm going to rename it. So it's uh, called click on post. Okay, so now we're going to launch the other groups automation. And the first group that we go to is the Kenmo group in my list and we have 30 in the list so again we're going very slowly we're putting a couple of seconds uh, sometimes between five and ten seconds to to wait properly my internet is very slow so we have to be very careful we're also uh, emulating the uh, human typing that also takes a little bit of time but then it's safer uh, and as you can as we said and you see in the message uh, we are using an irony that we are uh, telling uh, the public that this is an auto posting but there is no technical way to know that this was actually auto posted so if you use it you don't have to do that and also you can spin the text now we can cover that on another video so that every text that you post like this is different from from a group to another so now we put the the text we're going to click on that image icon now we're going to upload uh, the image again we give it a couple of seconds in in case the internet is slow and once that image is fully loaded we have clicked it has clicked on post and you can see that now it's already over there i'm going to scroll down so on kenmo it's posted now it's going to go and load the second url which is software uh, shed and it's going to do uh, the same so a couple of seconds for the group page to fully load and then it's going to click on that write something area to open that post and after a few seconds again to to wait for the whole code it's going to start uh, mimicking the human writing again and you got the point so it's going to do this for all the 30 groups uh, we're going to wait for the second group to see if it goes well and then uh, what what i will do is that i will run it into an accelerated mode um, until it's actually uh, all done so it's going to finish the text Now it's going to click on add the image. Uh, it uploaded the image. It's going, to, it's going to click on post. And then we will double check that it's really posted inside this group as well. And indeed, it's there with the image. And now it's going to go to the third group. And you got it. It's going to do this for all the 30 groups. So I can go and grab a coffee. Uh, let it do the job and then uh, come back and and, uh, and answer all the questions. Uh, so that's it for now.